Oh, that's hot. Mm. This coffee is not good at all, actually. Mm. There's this one coffee bean that's really popular in Asia as a whole called Lily. L-I-L-L-Y. It's just awful, man. Um, it's just really bitter. And it doesn't... So it doesn't make a good espresso because it's a little too bitter. And it doesn't make a good flat white because the milk doesn't cut off enough of the edge. I don't know. I'm not a barista, but I know a good coffee when I drink one and that is not it at all. What's going on, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Good to see you guys joining. Let's let this... Uh, Let's let this load up here. Let everyone kind of jump on. And we'll get started. Where is everybody? What part of the world? Oh, there we go. 17 people. What's up at the gym? Nice. Got to get that morning fitness in. I just got back. And I'm a little mixed up, so I got a couple calls. Uh, I'm going to miss the one. I'm sorry. Whoever it is. I can't remember. Uh, Maybe John. Um, Yesterday, I did like one, two, three three calls. So yeah, I'm just trying to squeeze you guys in as much as I can. You know, everybody that's been reaching out to plan, uh, and all that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's happening, but, um, I might miss a few here, there, <laughs> just how I am. I, I don't really like to keep myself to a rigid schedule anyways. So, cause I've never been good at that, but, uh, yeah. Is this stream? Okay. Are you okay today stream? Okay. Cause we got a lot to go through. So you, you better stay strong for us here. Okay. Stay green. All right, uh, Midwest, North Carolina, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Chicago, love Chicago. I was born and raised right outside of Detroit, Seattle, Palm Beach. Jay's got the sniffles. Yep, still a little bit, a little. And that's why it sucks because, like, I don't get sick. So when I do, yeah, it's bad. So I I went through a good three, four-day period there where I wasn't wasn't good at all. I wasn't really good at all. And actually, that last live stream that we were on – Yeah, I don't know. Um, Let's talk about this for a second because we need to talk about health and there needs to be a level of health awareness towards, uh, you know, crypto and trading and all that. So I was going really ham, let's call it ham hard for like two weeks. And it like all caught up because I got sick and then that kind of like threw me off my rocker. And so I immediately stopped, almost stopped eating food completely and went on cold pressed juice because that's a really good way to let your body heal. So You got to understand that like a ton of your body's daily activity is digesting food. So the minute that you remove food, it has an opportunity to faster heal your body. Like this is going back to the oldest of times. The thing that they used to do when you got sick is you would fast. That's the first thing they would tell you to do um, before maybe the era of doctors. And so I always do that trick. And so then I started doing that and then... I don't know what happened next, but like that last live stream that we did, I felt very, very bad. I felt very weird, Um, like uncomfortable in my own skin. So then I was like, okay, let me take a couple more days off, which um, which is why you you guys haven't seen me for like a day and a half. And yesterday we were out shooting all day. So, yeah, a little crazy, but uh, feeling really, really good today. Genuinely excited and thrilled again. And so sometimes, you know, even even me, maybe I consider myself to have all this knowledge and know all this stuff about uh, anatomy and my body and what's going on. Like, look at what I just did. You know, I just did some stupid shit. So yeah, I don't think it's, you know, you're never too smart to kind of like take a couple days off, you know, really enjoy maybe those weekends, especially when you've been grinding and putting in that hard work, which that's what the t-shirt says today. T-shirt says rise and grind. They'll be available soon. Don't worry. I know I tease a lot. I know I tease a lot with that. Okay, so here's what we got today. Um, I need to catch up on two videos. We're going to give away $100 Bitcoin on each one of the YouTube videos. Random comment selection like the usual game. We're going to talk about this USI Tech stuff. The site seems to be all updated. I seem to have... um, All of like our group again, showing and active, all my packages uh, and the balances and everything seem to be correct. Even though we're on Friday, the last two days, I don't know what's going on, but like the commissions seem low, uh, uh, the interest seem low rather for the last maybe day and a half, two days. But uh, I think what was going on with USI Tech is they were like updating based on date. 
So I think as they started propagating over to the new site, they were literally, however, maybe they're bringing it over by the database or what, but it was updating like by the day because at first I had six direct referrals. So that's like going all the way back to maybe like a month ago. Then I had 30. Then I had the full batch of where we're at now, which is like over 200. I think we're over 240 people now in USI Tech. So I was like, what is that? And it just seemed to happen in like every time I'd refresh the page over maybe like a two day period, more would be showing up. So if there's some goofy stuff going on, definitely clear out your cookies, clear out your cache, delete your history. Um, if you're on Chrome, you know, delete out your, your browser history, log back in and see what's going on. But you should be okay. Uh, and then we're fully moved over now. Affiliate links have changed. Yes, we'll talk about all that. We're going to talk about the little commission hustle thing we're doing as a group. All that's good, and today's going to be the first day that we're rolling it out. So a lot to talk about. And then I have big news about the next series we're going to do because last night I just shot the day 29 and 30 video together, and in that video I show you how to do an executed tra uh, trade through HitBTC uh, on that platform for uh, BitConnect Coin, so BCC Coin. And what's interesting is if you look, it says, Dear Traders, uh, please notice that Bitcoin Cash ticker has changed to BCH. BitConnect is now listed on our platform as BCC. Be please be careful when making deposits and withdrawals. So here's what happened. The first, at first, there was just uh, BCC to US dollar tither open, and um, I jump in there and I'm like, wait, what's going on with this? There's like huge sell orders, and it was people doing arbitrage, man. So there's people that were selling, you know, Bitconnect coin, and they, I think. Uh, a couple of the bigger orders that I saw was one was like four fifty, and one was around five hundred dollars. Uh, the order they weren't huge; they weren't like a hundred coins or anything. But yeah, there's definitely some arbitrage on the the order book. As soon as it went live, somebody was waiting for people who weren't paying attention. That's that's a dirty little trick, um, and I've never even really thought of that. But it was interesting to see. Gave me a little chuckle, I guess. But um, I don't really know what Hit BTC would do about that. Like. Nothing, maybe? I don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to actually send uh, today out of this Bitcoin wallet because I've got some extra laying around. This, uh, I created this account so I could play around with the, um, the challenge that we were doing and all the, uh, the BitConnect stuff. So, yeah, I don't really have too much going on in here. Kick, I see that one as being a longer term. So, you see I've got 2,000 coins of that. But, um, yeah, after I bought two, it sunk further. So... I bought in at, uh, what did I buy in at? Maybe 600 sats and then a dip to like 550 sats and I don't even know what it's at now. So this is being a longer term hold so I don't buy that on the way down. I'm just literally sitting on these at the buy-in position. I've got that written down. So um, I haven't created a sell order for this yet because I don't know. I see this as like a six month out thing. I don't even know if they would track a sell order for that long. So we'll just sit on it and I watch it. I tune in every couple of days. I make sure I'm listening to the FUD to uh, see, you know, make sure that the coin ain't in the middle of a pump and I miss it. But uh, outside of that, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to send Bitcoin from here. Let's pull up the, the commenter. Where was it? I think it was right in here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Spent an hour and a half catching up on YouTube comments and I come back from the gym this morning and it's refilled with like another hundred comments. So I was like, oh, okay. All right, so this is, no, let's do day 26 first. Day 26. We'll pop this in here. And remember the new rules going forward. You have to ask a question because I, I just noticed like, it's almost like somebody came up with a little spam bot and they, from all these different usernames, was just like, oh, hey, awesome, great job. And so <clears throat> they're all the same BTC address. Like, come on, get a little creative at least with your spamming. So it's gotta be a good you know, a good question, basically. Now that won't work, so we'll refresh. I should use a different one that will allow me to, like, pick again. Does this... This doesn't let you pick again, does it? No. Okay. So we'll refresh and do again. I don't remember day 26. It's all just kind of... Or day... Yeah, day 26. Okay. Yeah, we'll take this one. All right, so I don't even know how to pronounce that name. But you're the winner. We're un, under. We're under. Uh, is that like a is that like a pun? I don't know. 
Uh, where am I at? So, yeah. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do a hundo today. <laughs> I'm going to stop using uh, the Exodus wallet, I think, for the most part. Outside of being my little on-the-fly calculator. So what is that? 0.01429. Ah, what happened? Come on. 0 0.014. 2.9. <clears throat> All right, cool. So congratulations. Uh, you the winner. You the winner, man. That's good. Yep. It's uh, Hit BTC is actually really, really quick. <laughs> okay, so that it will shoot me an email. Let me just see if I can do that on mobile. Have I not done a withdrawal on this? Uh, maybe not. Let me see. Let me see. I don't really feel like opening up my email in front of a thousand, thousand and a half people. <laughs> no offense. Um, yeah, let's see if it'll just let me do it through here. Some of them do, some of them don't. Oh, that's through Mandrill. That's interesting. Nope, it wants me to log in. Okay, so I'll have to do that after. But it's on the way. Congratulations once again. Where did I just put you? Oh, there you are. So yeah, were is the winner. What's up with Bitpetite? Uh, it's down, and it's probably going to stay down. Looks to be gone. Um, so yeah, what's crazy is like I was in a Telegram group, and then I just left it because it became a little too intense with, with um, people bashing each other. But... Emotions really fly high with stuff like this. And yeah, it's just, it makes crypto even that much more interesting, doesn't it? You know, we have access to all these instantly postable, you know, tools and resources. Like I can instantly post to my Twitter, my Facebook. I can instantly get in flaming battles and live chat boxes. And it's crazy, which is why I always ask that everybody that jumps in on these live streams, just please be respectable of each other. And like, you know, some of the stuff you just wouldn't say to somebody's face. So just treat it like that, you know, like we're actually face to face with this. Oh, wait, I got to refresh. And then I'll jump in and answer questions here in just a couple minutes. Let me get through this. And then I want to give away, uh, buy someone a USI Tech package today, too. Steaking all day, steaking eggs all day, baby. 1.8 billion are growing. Yep, okay, we'll do a refresh. <laughs> yeah, which, where are we at right now on the old bit connector? Number seven, 1.9 billion. It'll be 2 billion. I don't know why people still like ask me this, but it's not, they don't, the company, BitConnect itself as a company is not worth 1.8 billion. That's a very loose comment. There's 1.8 or 1.9 billion in the market cap. Okay, we need a question. Oh, Carlos, you had already won. That would have been crazy, huh? Two in a row. Some people haven't even won one. Got some good luck, my friend. You got some good luck. Use that. Let's crack this thing open. Yeah, see, like this pick me BTC. Uh, there's just too many comments now, so I don't, I don't want to do that. I want I want to give it and award it to somebody who, you know, has has like a comment, puts a little thought into it. Again, not spamming the comment section from 15 different users with the same BTC address. That's what that stuff is. So while I appreciate the hustle that goes behind that, no. Oh, this is a winner right here. Daryl, I remember answering this question, actually. First eight minutes felt ranty. I do get ranty sometimes, Daryl. Thank you for that. The other eight minutes was good. Yep, go watch the video from yesterday. Okay, so EOS will compete. Yeah, I think I told you no, but I'll tell you now, no. I don't think it'll compete. All right, so yeah, let's. that'll do. Let me go ahead and get you. Uh, still hoping for some luck. Look at that, brother. Well, your luck changed today. So, all right. So the withdrawal request went. Let me see if I can just pop this in here and do the same thing again. Well, let me do the same and then just send me another. Yeah, cool. All right. So both those emails, I got to confirm. And then congratulations. The $100 will be on the way to both of you. There's the email there. 
Um, bop, bop, bop. Yeah, let's jump into USI Tech. I want to give away a package today on the live stream, and then I'm going to tell you how we're doing this this little hustle thing. So, uh, Crypto Bait, Alex, uh, Alex in the chat room, in the Discord chat is helping me. It's very simple if you want to get involved. How we're going to do it today, and as it's still very, very small, is if you want to get involved, meaning that you want to come into our little matrix, okay? You come in, we place you under somebody else, we help you get your first three. That's the first thing, that's like the first level that we're helping with is to get three people so that you now have three levels of commission unlocked. Right now, the new changes is that everybody just has direct, meaning that people who sign up directly through your link, you get 10%. If you want level two and three, which give you 3% on people that sign up under those people and people's people's people, if you want both of those, then you would get involved in this. And then after we do the first three, we're gonna we're waiting until they finalize the, which I think just came out this morning, I just haven't read it yet, level four through 12, which at this point it was supposed to be, you'll need one additional person at each level from four to 12, and then you get 12 levels of commission unlocked, right? And so if you have no desire to do any of the referral stuff, you don't even need to get involved. This is just for people who want to get basically paid 12 levels deep on commission, which this stuff does add up. Um, I've seen a huge difference just since not even a week, uh, even with the updates of my account being unlocked at this level. So what we're going to ask is that do not sign up, just go to Discord, join a Discord chat, and then tag either CryptoJ or CryptoBait and we're going to get you in the mix. Very easy. We'll direct you on what to do. You need to sign up through one of the links that we've already got. Right now, we're just tracking this with a spreadsheet. But what I'm working on in the background is a link rotator that will basically, every like three or four clicks, just rotate to the next guy. And we're going to assume that everybody who, when we talk on these live streams, everybody who's clicking through the link and signing up wants to get involved. So they're going to go sign up through the link we give them and then buy 12 BTC packages. And the whole point of doing this, once again, to confirm, is so that you get 12 levels deep of commission. We're going to help you get those 11 people that you now need. You used to need just three. That was the pre-November 1st hustle we were doing. Now, we just decided to keep doing it. And so now, it's uh, it's going to take 11 people. And so the first level that we're going to do for everybody is we're going to bring everybody up and get their first three. Then everybody has three levels of commission unlocked, right? I hope that that's not, um, not confusing. I think it's fairly easy. The coffee might be kicking in. I might be just talking too much. All right. All right. So we did both the comment uh, giveaways. Those are pending. I'll shoot those through. All right. So... Yeah, here's what I want to do for the USI Tech giveaway. I haven't looked at the comments at all. I'm just I'm just touching on this now. So, uh, da, 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 da. how do I want to do this? <sighs> You're going to have to be already signed up so that I can just uh, go ahead and put you in. But the first person to give me their username, the first person to give me their username for USI Tech gets a free package. I'm going to buy it right now. And so the first person, give me your username. I will, I will buy you a package right now. And please make sure that you tell me like this is your, this is your username, okay? First person, there it is, Torrent. I believe that's it right there, yeah? Whatever the heck that is. Let me see if I can find you because we got to go ahead and search that out. But um, I'm going to place an order here. And so what you'll see here right now, the only thing that they have listed is the BTC packages and the token packages. The tokens are going to be converted to coins. And then there's 500 million available. I'm going to go ahead and assume that they're going to burn off the extra, which is what any sane ICO type coin offering does. So yeah, it's weird that that does that automatically too. I think that's a little glitchy, but we just come here to buy for partner. And I should be able to find you. Member found, but not in your organization, so we cannot display the name. Okay, so I'm assuming that's because you're like a four or five level deep, um, which is pretty common at this point. So this is also different too. <laughs> I don't remember them ever saying the 3% mining fee right in the overall transaction amount. But now we're down to 51 euro, which is low 50s for a US dollar because Bitcoin's up so high right now. One of the benefits of 
BTC to BTC is you pay out in BTC, so you pay out less and less as the value goes up, right? All right, so one package for you. Congratulations. Let's make sure. Oh, you know what? It's not letting me do for my balance. That's not going to work. There we go. That was weird. You're proceeding available BTC balance. There we go. All right, so let's do this again. Agree to the terms. One package. Congratulations. Cool. You got another package, brother. Uh, so, yes, thank you for joining on. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for being a part of the community. Uh, we're going to start doing that, I think, on every live stream because now USI Tech really seems to be one of the most popular programs that we're talking about. Uh, it'll be me giving away USI Tech packages and uh, maybe I'll start giving away BitConnect packages, you know, $100 BitConnect packages. I like the idea of that too. <laughs> Delay, I, I don't know if it's um, if it's bad today. It doesn't look to be that bad. It should be right on point. Hopefully I don't look like a really bad Japanese voiced over movie with like my mouth and audio syncing up. <laughs> <laughs> yep, cool. All right. So yeah, that's your username. Congratulations again, bro. Thank you so much for tuning in, you know, all the time. I've seen you on quite a few of the live chats. So all right. There it is. Um okay, so oh, another thing I'm gonna do too is Right now, the first three people to go and that haven't gotten involved yet, but you're watching this stream for the first time, you're, you've maybe reached out to me and have no clue what's going on with the USI Tech thing, the first three people to go and message uh, Crypto Bait or myself in the Discord chat, I will send you one additional package. So I will buy you a package. Besides the 12 BTC packages that you buy, I will buy you one. The only thing we ask is that like, if you're not serious or if you, you're still waiting on the money to move around or you don't really know what's going on, just ask us questions and make sure you fully understand what we're doing before you get involved. And if you already know what's going on, which there's a there's a ping in the background, so somebody, at least one person's messaged me now. Um, if you already know what's going on and you're ready to come in and buy 12 uh, packages already, then I'll send you an additional one. So after you've completed the 12, I'll go ahead and buy an additional one. So now you'll have 13 active, which will make you thereabouts $13 a day. Um, you know, in your in your USI Tech, I'll buy you an additional one. Okay, so that's part of that's another part of the bonus I'm going to do every day. So every day, I'm just basically looking for three people to come in and jump in and then I'll buy each one of you an additional BTC package after you've completed. Cool? Yeah, lower internet speed will, of course, force the stream to be slower, just so you know. All right, cool. So I have I have two people that just hit me up on live, right? Uh, seeing me on live right now. Yep. Okay, so here's the deal. Message me. I'll connect you with CryptoBait is the username. He's going to give you the link and help you figure it all out. Do not sign up before then. You're going to go in with the link he's given you, buy 12 BTC packages, and I send you one free. That's the deal. Easy, right? I haven't looked at Ripple at all. All right, Will. Yeah, good deal. <clears throat> Got to hit that morning fitness. If you can, you know, I know, I know it's hard, especially when I stay up till like 2, 3 in the morning. Like I woke up at 2.40 a.m. to upload yesterday's video. And so I passed out at like 9, slept from like 9 to 2, and then uploaded the video, worked until like 4, woke back, woke back up at 6, hit the gym until 8, and then here we are on live stream. So, yeah. Okay, cool. So I think we've got our three for today. Congratulations to the action takers that jumped in already. Um <clears throat> I sent to the wrong wallet. Oh, you're on the live stream. Wait a second. All right. So the good thing is, is that that's probably a good thing to give me the email confirmation is, uh, check it out. Let's just do this. We're, if you're, if you're on the, the call still, crypto junkies at protonmail.com. Just email me, brother. Email me your BTC address. So it's not lost. It's okay. I can just cancel it and then resend it to you. We're lucky we caught that. So it's a good thing that they're making me uh, confirm that because on Exodus, it would have been gone and done. So good. All right. How do you change your sponsor? I don't know. And I'm, I'm not really looking to get into that. It sounds like a pretty messy thing to do. I know that for some people, they are um, 
basically they haven't verified their account. So they're just like deleting that account. They're requesting that account to be deleted. And then they're coming and starting all over again with us. And that's been working. So yeah, you're welcome, War. Thanks for jumping on the live with me. Congratulations again on $100. So yeah, send me your correct BTC and we'll get it rolling to you. Very shit, but yeah, uh, the guys that I have helping me, they understand it. So <clears throat> yeah, it's buffering right now. Man, come on. Come on, YouTube. It's been raining here all morning, so we have a dedicated line here. And internet, I have to admit, internet is pretty good here in Indonesia. Not, you know, not compared to Singapore and um, even Thailand. Thailand's got amazing internet. But, um, you know, we are still, this is Bali, Indonesia. We're not talking about the United States. But what's crazy to me is like, you could be in rural areas of Tennessee, Kentucky, Georgia, Louisiana, and you're on like dial-up. What is up with that? Like all of America should have like premium 4G everywhere, you know, and the fastest possible, uh, what, whatever we're doing out in America. What is it? Fiber optic? Are we doing? I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, Bruno, it's dedicated, man. I'll look into, I don't know what pr uh, package we've got, but I'll look into, uh, I'll look into boosting it up, man. <laughs> In the Discord chat, all you do is tag. So you just tag Crypto J and you just tag Crypto Bait. One or the other. Oh, that's weird. It's doing like YouTube. <coughs> YouTube your, uh, usernames. Okay. It's just showing video low. Uh, I'll put low. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I'll look into this 100%. But uh, all right, so let's start doing questions. Any questions on the, let's first cover questions on the USI tech stuff. Any questions on that, what we're doing? <clears throat> oh, there we go. It's decided to come back. You got to give it a second sometimes. You just got to be patient with the stream and it comes right back. So, yep, we, we saw some people drop off. That's cool. We just lost like 20 people. <laughs> you can just watch the replay. All right. No, it's it's back on. But it might be taking a sec for you. Do you get your... I don't understand your question. Mark is asking, do you get your back from a BETC package on USI when the package is up? I don't understand the question. Package price right now is... Man, it's cheap. What is that? It's uh, one package has costed me this. No, wrong. 57, 72 United States dollar. US dollar. Okay, so that's how much a package costs. And you can buy, <clears throat> excuse me, you can buy. Okay, so the package order is approved. Let me just go back to this. You can buy BTC packages or token. Token will be exchanged to a coin, like I said, and it will be the TECH or tech coin eventually. Right now, they're just selling it in big lots of tokens and It'll be a one-to-one -one ratio from token to coin. I believe they sent out an email this morning, USI Tech, and that's got the rest of the details on the commission changes and packages. Because now I believe that you'll even get commission on the token packages that you sell. So I don't know. That'd be cool, I guess. Just more money for us to further develop what we're doing with, uh, with USI Tech and all the community. <laughs> Yeah, so the value prop and what's backing the actual tech coin itself is the patented technology that they've now created for um, for mining. They have 1% of the global hash rate of BTC and 2.5 of ETH. And this, somebody asked me the other day a great question, like how can you prove this? How can you verify this? Uh, there's two big changes that they had. And you can watch the guys, there's like two or three videos up that actually went to the event. So maybe just in YouTube search USI Tech 2017 London and you'll see them and those guys give more details. And I know that USI Tech themselves will be rolling out the actual specifics uh, as we go on. So if you wanted to wait or if you didn't trust that news, then sure, just wait, yeah. They actually had a picture of the ATM machine because I told you, and this was the smallest piece of news I actually gave you in the overall update with USI Tech is that they're doing uh, ATM machines too. And they actually showed one of the real ATMs and brought it there. So 
Okay, cool. You just sent me the correct uh, BTC. Thank you. So they're doing ATMs. They're doing the mining stuff. That's the value prop for the coin. I hope that helps. That was Mark and A.H. that asked. All right. Oh, and Inferno Joe. Cool. Yep. Hope that helps answer your guys' questions. <clears throat> I, Dan, Dan asks, should I invest now in USI Tech or BitConnect? I don't like that question because it's like this if or scenario or this or that. Which one's the best? Um, and in this game, we have to look at it deeper than that. We have to look at it as... Where do I want to start? Which one do I feel the most comfortable with? Start there with the biggest amount and then start to pull out and diversify into the other things, right? And I shot a video and uploaded it yesterday where I talked more in depth about some indicators and some pieces that you should really take into consideration when choosing which high interest yield program to go into and what your allocation should really look like. So I talked and touched on those points again. And that was in the wake of what's happened with BitPetit. So... Um, I will be shooting another video, like call it a high interest yield program checklist, uh, what you should really be looking for, how to do your research on these. I'm shooting that today and I'm hoping to have that uploaded over the weekend. Tomorrow we'll be uh, going out and shooting all day again. So I don't, I don't know if I'll get it uploaded tomorrow or Sunday because it's Friday for me. But yeah, uh, overall, to answer your question, you should decide which one you want to go in at and your positioning. And then if I go into BitConnect, then maybe pull out all that interest and go over here instead of compounding. So, and that's the that's the thing that I left uh, and ended yesterday's video on is like, look, if, if all of this recent news is making you uncomfortable, then the easiest way for you to feel more comfortable would be to just pull out interest from everything every day and further diversify that out. Whether I just come over and pull out from these four things and, and pop it down into Bitcoin or uh, Ethereum or whatever I'm doing. Or maybe I start to put that into the market myself and play around with trying to do some, you know, buying and selling and trading myself. Or I put it into ICOs. Or what one of the guys is doing is um, one of our moderators is going in hard on gold. So there's a link underneath the video, the stream here, for Voltoro. Voltoro has been around since about 2015. They get weekly audits um, from a third-party independent company. And they allow you to move your BTC into gold. Now, the reason why a lot of people like that is because you can kind of lock in that value as BTC is rising. I can pull out into gold, which is closely mirrored to fiat. Uh, so we're not losing that value. And to a lot of people, I think that'll be easier than going back out to like Coinbase because uh, Coinbase has so much uh, restrictions on the minimums and maximums that you can withdraw and deposit per month. So yeah, I, I like that option too. We'll definitely be pulling more out into gold and locking in that, that value, so to say, um, as BTC is high. And you can... Like the thing that people don't realize is that it's not an online offer. This is real gold you're buying. And they have an audit of how much gold that they're holding at the different um, at the different storage centers that they have. And so you could have them ship that gold to your door. Like talk about the ultimate physicality, like just have them send it to you, you know. And if you don't trust that they'll be around in a year with your gold, shit, man, just have them send it to you and, and do your own storage. Understand that there's fees involved with storing your um, your gold, but <clears throat> okay. So you don't. Dan says I don't have enough to do both platforms. USI Tech is going to be a little bit less in comparison to BitConnect, and I feel like it's a little bit slower grower, but it's going to be around a lot longer than BitConnect especially with the recent changes that they've made. And even what I just said is only based on the current information I have right now. If tomorrow, unfortunately, if tomorrow BitConnect says, oh, hey, we just, you know, they announced that they just purchased this startup that is dealing with AI technology or something, then that's going to change my position because it would have to. That new information would have to shift. It would have to um, force me to pivot my, you know, my... Um, my game plan and really like my predictions. But right now at the time of this, yeah, I think that, and you have to take into consideration too, like what does long-term mean to you? 
you know, safe, words like safe and long term, they mean something completely different to you than they do to me. So we first have to define what do I think long term actually is? What do I think safe is? And kind of my boundaries and overall belief of that. Because if I were to say, yeah, it's safe, and you and I don't see eye to eye with what the word safe means in terms of investment, then that's even going to get us into trouble. So not to go too deep on like basic words, but um, yeah. Just decide which one you want to go in on and then uh, start to pull out. If that's your game plan, pull out the interest and allocate to the other one. Uh, USI Tech, I think, you know, a lot of people, what will continue to happen as the bit petites fall, which mark my words, by March, there'll be another three or four that fall, not BitConnect and not, um, you know, not ones like BitConnect or USI Tech. In fact, USI Tech, I think, should be removed from the conversation of high interest yield program because it's not. It's mining contracts. And so that's pretty... Um, it's still, I guess, considered high yield because 1%. And what do we get in a standard um, checking and savings account in America? Not even 1% per year. Uh, we get 1 one hundredth of a percent per year. But um, yeah, I, I wouldn't consider that a high yield. That's more of like a traditional investment program. And that's what they're really going for, it seems. <laughs> Mark, that's a great question. When you buy in USI uh, the BTC packages after you earn for the 140 days of interest, do you get your capital released in a capital payment? I can't remember what we said. Uh, we answered this like three, four times. I'm getting mixed up because we've answered it so many times. But um, I think somebody will jump in, Mark, in the chat and give you an answer on that. I haven't had a package complete, so I, I don't remember. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, Jonathan, do you plan to develop people's teams under the people underneath you? Yes. So we're doing that twofold. One, every day on the live stream, we're going to be pulling in as many people that reach out to us and say, hey, I'm interested. I was already going to buy the 12 packages. I want you to help me unlock the commission structure underneath me. We'll help place people underneath you. The second way we're going to do that is we're going to start rolling out marketing funnels. We're going to start helping you create a, I guess, enticing way to bring in the general public into your offers. Then we're going to give you tools and training on how to drive traffic. So buying traffic through Facebook ads, through Google AdWords, um, doing SEO efforts, all of that. So that's sort of my background. I'm going to not only train myself, but bring in people from the outside to put on free webinar training for the community to get everybody beefed up on, you know, say Facebook ads. Facebook ads was my thing. Uh, Google and YouTube stuff, like we have somebody else that manages that for us. Hopefully we'll get started soon. I keep saying that, but um, you know we're still waiting for the dashboard tool to get finished so we can put in all of our remarketing pixels. Uh, we've got one of the calculators up and running. This one right here. You can just go to cryptojunkies.co slash calculator. That's a free tool for everybody. Um, and it gives you a breakdown. The only thing that might be off is some of the coin Reum stuff. So the coin Reum might not be correct um somebody just told me that yesterday but yeah it's got some of the popular ones bitconnect um chain group on here the different offers right so and that's just for the public um we have the dashboard tool that will be getting released and that's a little bit more exclusive uh a little bit more complex of calculators and calculations for uh community members and then we'll open it to the general public later on but it'll cost just like a yearly fee probably to help us maintain it yo what's up welcome to the chat welcome to the live stream am i a part owner of nootropics no uh i assume you're talking about the nootropic affiliate link that i have here no this is uh nootropics depot and they're their own company in America. I don't have ownership in that. They just give me a small affiliate commission for referring people. And the only reason why I refer people to that one is because I use that same stuff. It takes forever to get it out here to Asia, but if you're a little sneaky do, you can get it out here. And uh, you, they just send it to you in a bag of powder and they give you instructions on how to dose it and all that. But on that website, if you have no idea what the hell nootropics are, they actually give you a description and medical journal referencing to each one of them so they have stuff all the way from bacopa and ashwagandha which are like considered 
uh, herbs, you know, Asian herbs that have been around for thousands of years, all the way to like racetams, which have been researched since the 1960s. Those are a little bit more aggressive and they really work at um, bypassing the blood brain barrier to increasing choline. Um, in the brain and unlocking, well, not unlocking, but kind of triggering different lobes in different areas of the brain that deal with short-term memory, long-term memory, focus, um, and then even, you know, beyond that. So there's some, there's some other substances in there that are very, very interesting and very, very powerful too. So I'll shoot a video on that. I'll shoot a video on that soon. Justin says, Hey Jay, I've been waiting for over 36 hours for my link to confirm with USI Tech, that is a common problem. They have th before this little split and update, they were having people, five thousand people a day, um, coming in to USI Tech. And now I would assume, like in just the last couple days, we've had over a hundred. So I'd assume that number's gone up. Just be patient, Justin. And, and now that they've got the support all integrated in here, I don't know where, but uh, it's somewhere in here. You can get a hold of support now right from within the admin. Um, somebody just told me that anyways. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe maybe we're wrong. But get a hold of support, open up a ticket. And now that it's November 1st, they have 24-hour support. So I've heard from a few people already that the support is like spot on. You should get an answer pretty quickly. And if you open an older ticket before November 1st, open another ticket again. Because maybe that just got lost and like bring it to the again. Yeah, you do need promotional material for USI Tech. They rolled out their stuff, which the promo video is, eh, it's okay. But, um, and I know somebody in the group already that took that minute and 41 second long video that USI Tech provides us with as a promo video, went and I helped them give them, I gave her basic tips on Google AdWords. She went out and already got, uh, I think, a sign up in the last two days. So, you know, again, like I'm telling you guys, like the hustle hasn't even started yet in this market. There is so few affiliate marketers in this space. It's all just really awful network marketers who don't know how to properly market themselves. So as soon as you start to set up these little tools and these little funnels, you will be getting dozens, if not hundreds of signups every single week, without a doubt. <clears throat> Toothpaste sponsorship. When is that happening? Great question. I don't know. I'm still waiting for Colgate or, you know, whoever else to contact me. Actually, I'd totally be down for, for a sponsorship on toothpaste as long as it had uh, charcoal in it. Yeah, stream keeps coming up and down, guys. I'm really sorry about that. <clears throat> so right now, video output's low. It's showing red. So Hopefully the audio is still kicking in. I'm really sorry about that today, guys. Uh, it's been raining here. It's starting to enter into rainy season, which is summertime. So that might be that might be affecting what we got going on. Okay, so I'm I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, logos and stuff. You should be able to find logos for USI Tech on Google. Just search USI Tech and then go over to images, and you should be able to find it. Like, let me just let me just do it right now. USI Tech. Let me tr give this a shot. <coughs> Yeah, so you're looking for a PNG type file. This looks to be one right here, right here. Here's just the the logo looking thingy, mascot, I guess you'd call that, right? <clears throat> you can get all kinds of images from, from uh, Google Images. And the company itself doesn't care if you use their logo, you know, but if you're using somebody else's, maybe check Creative Commons on that. Make sure you don't get yourself into trouble. Oh, okay, uh, Mark. Yeah, so does somebody remember what I said the other day on capital release on USI Tech? Do you get your capital released after the 140 days or is it trickled into the daily that you get paid out? Don't remember. <clears throat> I think you should be good to go for, uh, you check the box for affiliate in USI Tech. Yeah, it's a box now to, when you sign up because they recognize that some people don't care at all about becoming an affiliate and promoting this, blah, blah, blah. So you got to check a box now that says, yes, I want to become an affiliate and it gives you and it generates the link. The link you'll see right here. So mine is this one here, just J Brandon Zero, right? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think it is possible to check your commission structure level right now. I know that I can't, I can only see so deep on our overall tree, our org tree. So without me asking like 
John and then Josh to go and log in and see their breakdown and this guy's breakdown. I don't know. But there will be natural spillover anyway. So if you wanted nothing to do with this and you just signed up through my um, affiliate link, there's going to be spillover because so many people are joining my link now that it automatically places people underneath you and gives spillover. So at the very least, like no matter what, you're getting people underneath you. You're just not in the matrix. Yeah, the new logo can be saved off the site. Just go up, like literally go up here and what? Save. There it is. Save image as. There's the whole thing right there. Just go to the site and right click it. Gangsta little trick for you. <clears throat> nasally. Yep. Nasally. Okay, cool. Um, what else we got going on? We did some giveaways. We gave away $200 and in a package, the so 250 bucks, like... We're going to start cranking up the amount that we give away too. Um, and I think that just helps the whole entire community because, you know, now we're kind of excited and geared up about USI Tech. So I'll start to give away some packages there. I want to start to give away some BitConnect packages just to help out the community because um, the community is taking so good care of us, you know, and helping us grow and get all these. Uh, really, it's, it's helping us get a lot of the funding that we need to, to create the tools that we're, uh, that we're building, you know. Shit ain't cheap, Randy. All right. Bottom left menu, support. Did I just miss that? There you go, Jay. There you go. Thank you. Contact support right here under resources. There we go. Feel a little bit silly. <clears throat> okay. Let's talk BTC B2X fork a little bit. I got to refresh on this today because here's what you got to recognize is that everything is updating every day for the Segwit 2X fork. It is... Man, so much drama going on around this, and I get it. Because we got the New York Agreement coming into play here, which is where a bunch of people met up and signed this thing that basically said they would back this. A bunch of people backing out of it now. People talking about, no, it's not. Um, it is an actual splitting of the, the blockchain itself. This is a much more serious topic and serious thing that we need to talk about. There's just a lot of back and forth. And right now, what I've been seeing is Segwit2x is largely unsupported right now. But what happened with the gold fork is it was like nobody wanted to support it. And then two days before, uh, Bitfinex came out and said, we're supporting it 100%. And then all of a sudden, BitTrex, which two hours before then had said, nope, we're not supporting it. Screw this, basically. Said, oh, well, time out. Um, we're not going to go with our last, you know, we're going to retract our previous statement. And then an hour after that, they said, we're going to support it fully. That's what we're dealing with here, guys. So this will be speculation almost until like the last day before. I'll shoot a video about this, but it's only the third. The fork is happening on the 16th. I'm not going to shoot a video now. Expect a video from me after the 12th on what's going on. So there, uh, GDAX is fully supporting it right now. That means that if you had Bitcoin sitting in GDAX, you would get free, whatever they're going to call it, B2X, uh, BT2X, whatever its ticker name is going to be, you would get a, a one-to-one ratio of that um, after the after the fork. Okay, how is that going to affect Bitcoin and BitConnect? Man, I'm getting na more nasally as I as we go on here. Excuse me, guys. So that's always a really good question. Like, how does a Bitcoin fork affect the market? It usually doesn't. Um, what I mean by that is. It doesn't, it doesn't. So we will see uh, more people coming into Bitcoin and holding Bitcoin before the fork. And then it will be a little micro sell-off and some correction happening. Maybe three, $400 micro correction. And then, and then it kind of... So when was the last one? Let's just look at the, the past here. I think the last one was the 25th. So here it is right here. So you see we went up, which is probably just the fork day. And then we had we started coming down on this red candle here, and then we had a little micro correction, and that one actually was a small correction. The Bitcoin Cash back in August was bigger than that. Gosh, when was that? August first? No, it wasn't actually. How do how come I remember it being bigger than that? No. <clears throat> now I had a big run up right after. So just completely ignore what I just said. So it had a big run up right after. And then if we look at, you just got to look at the past sometimes to see what's going to happen. Um, so the 25th, 26th, we had a little small micro, not even, 
a correction. That was just a little sell-off. And then we went right back up. And we touched into territory we haven't even seen yet. So we had an all-time high, which is exactly what happened after the Bitcoin cash fork in August. So the Bitcoin cash fork was August 1st. So if you want to go back and chart this out yourself, feel free. August 1st was Bitcoin cash. Gold was uh, October 25th. And Segwit2x will be November 16th. Now, I think that the overall appeal and hype about um, Bitcoin forks will lose its intrigue because we do ICOs with uh, Ethereum and we we do forks with Bitcoin. And I think it'll just lose its sizzle because now you got a bunch of developers who just want to come in and get rich because the Bitcoin gold fork generated $10 million for the developers. Like instant millionaire, you know, who, who wouldn't want that? So you're going to have anything from a bunch of half-assed developers to guys who are really good now trying to cash in on this because uh, it's profitable. So we'll, we will see there's already a roadmap for Bitcoin silver. There's, there'll be a Bitcoin bronze, a Bitcoin platinum, mark my words. And it'll just get so silly that nobody will support them because they'll just say, nope, we've had enough. So it'll have to get to that point though, that obnoxious point, I think, before it forces change. But we'll see. We will see on that. Does that help? Cool. Isaac, I appreciate you tuning in. Glad, glad you're all in. Is your t-shirts available now? No, Tracy. Not yet. We're wrapping it up. And it's being held up by me. Just understand, I take full accountability. It's being held up by me. I'm moving slow. And it's because I don't have a standard. I really, I know myself very well. And I need a standard operating procedure for doing new shit like that. And I don't have one. So I'm just like doing nothing. And it's driving me nuts. Trust me. And I know it's pissing off a lot of members that I don't have this up yet. But we'll get there. And it will be worth it. No, no, no. I don't use blow. Coffee. I'm very sensitive to stimulants. Will, B, will B2X open at the same value? Great question. Don't know. <clears throat> we won't know until like a couple days beforehand when all the speculation is really built up and starts moving the price. <clears throat> That's the argument. So this this fork is a little bit different because Segwit2x is being the whole point of it is this will become the new Bitcoin. This will become the new primary <clears throat> Bitcoin. I don't know. Like there's no there's no history to go off of and I can only go off of what I watch. If you want to subscribe to somebody and find out a lot about the deeper aspects and the drama that's really going on with the 2x uh, fork is his name is Box Mining on YouTube. Great great guy does a lot of really good videos and they're easy to understand bitcoin nickel yeah i mean come on bitcoin nickel bitcoin dime bitcoin quarter like it'll just keep going now because everyone's like oh man 10 million off of doing a fork and all you got to do is take the blockchain and like do something with it right like we're going in this direction we're doing this with it so it's not hard is what i'm getting at to to actually fork bitcoin <clears throat> Coinbase, why are they taking it so serious? I don't know. It's It really just comes down to like almost religious belief with who's going to support it and who's not. Um, Coinbase and the people behind it might be on camp A that says that, you know what? Uh, what Segwit2x represents is the future of Bitcoin. We need to support this. Then there's the camp over here that says, no, this is going to destroy Bitcoin. Bitcoin's fine. We don't need to change this. But let's look at the reality right now. Mining costs are, I just read that on Cointelegraph. Let me quote this correctly. The cost is, uh, holy crap. It was like one week's worth of energy to run a house is now what it costs to mine. It's just getting out of hand. Where was that? No. Come on, the minute that I need it, I can't find it in my stream. This looks amazing. Ugly Christmas sweater Monero style. Dude, come on. I want one. Which, for anybody who knows the Teespring game Hustle, I'm going to give you a free marketing tip that you will make thousands of dollars off of right now. And I know this because I did it last year. So 
make an ugly sweater design like this and use uh, use Teespring, use viral styles, use one of those sites that allow you to do print on demand. You upload the design, which the design, even if you had to hire a designer, 35 to $40 to make the design, upload it and start selling it now because we're in holiday season. People are doing Christmas shopping. They would love this. This ugly sweater, mark my words, will sell like, yeah, well, let's just look. It'll sell like crazy. Is this a Teespring campaign? And I know I'm getting off track. I'm sorry, but I just, like, if you want to hustle some quick money. Oh, and they're even letting you check out with uh, Bitcoin and Litecoin. Wow. Okay, so this site doesn't, look at that, dude. Come on. This site, usually the site will tell you how many they've already sold. I'm going to guess they're going to sell thousands thousands of these at $60 your margins are pretty big on that because of how the how they structure it all and they print it they ship it they do everything for you you do nothing but make this page upload the design and start to market this so you could run Facebook ads to this you could run Twitter ads to this um, Instagram ads and you as long as you had your demographics correct which is cryptocurrency anything you would make money with this mark my words right now and there's there's only a few people doing these but if you get in now before it gets saturated, you could do really well. Anyway, back on track. Uh, there it is right there. One Bitcoin transaction now uses as much energy as your household needs in a week. <clears throat> like that's a problem. You know what I mean? Like that is not green. That is not sustainable. So there's that side of what, and that's all wrapped into SegWit 2X and what they're talking about because they're, they're looking to turn it into... Uh, two blocks hence the 2x so yo dave what's popping brother welcome to the live stream yeah usi tech is now nice and smooth yeah the ethereum design was that was money that was money the bitcoin one no because that yellow i don't like that yellow that they used they tried to make it look a little too gold um if they went with that orange, Bitcoin orange, I think they would crush. Yeah, so who is the other site? Oh, we used one. Um, and the the sweatshirts, the ugly all over print, it's called, uh, what is that? Sub sub something, sub, I don't know. Um, but it's all, it's all over print for short. So it's all over the front, all over the back. And uh, it takes special machinery to do that. So you want to use a company like that because it's just easy. Um, it's at the tip of my tongue. There's, there's so many sites that offer that now, but there was one that did all over print and it was amazing. Ray John. Oops. Yeah, there it is. The world's uh, largest all over print. So check this out for the action taker who's on the live stream right now. I'm going to help you make a little hustle. What is this? Um, I think I got adware in this browser actually. Um, all right, so this is what you do. You log in, you get started, you upload your design, and then you just start sending out the URL. And the the all over print are insanely high quality. So you can sell these up to $85. We were selling ours for 59 to 65. And all you gotta do is pay for the traffic and pay for the ads. I mean, I know guys who, they made an entire business off of Teespring alone. Teespring was like the first one to come out, but they still, I don't think offer all over print. I believe Ray John is the largest, unless that's just a tagline that they're the largest all over print, but yeah, amazingly good quality. Everybody see, and you can even do jumpers. So you could do Monero jumpers, Litecoin jumpers, BitConnect jumpers, whatever. And, uh, it's really easy. They just fulfill the whole thing for you. So for the hustlers that are watching this, go do this shit right now. And you'll make you'll make a couple thousand for the holidays for sure. And that's more, you know, that's more crypto money, guys. <clears throat> and and that's usually how it works. Like the reward is given to those who who hustle, who take that first that first step and really um, just jump all in instead of asking questions like, Will this work? How long will it last? Like a lot of times, unfortunately, that doesn't work, you know. That's the guy who kind of loses in the end. Yeah, I appreciate that, James. I appreciate that. 
Yep, it does require taking a chance. It does. Yeah, and it's Bitcoin has been on the move the last couple of days. I'm just jumping randomly through the comment section. Yeah, definitely been on the move. I like some of the new support that's coming in here, some of the new support lines. But um, all right, so oh, we're an hour in already. Yeah, the jumpers, man. I think the jumpers would crush. I really do. Capital gains, Matthew, this is a great question. How does the IRS view crypto? From my understanding, it's just capital gains tax. There's a channel, uh, not a channel, but I have, uh, I believe in general, it's pinned, a whole little calculator to help you break down your crypto earnings for the tax, man. Great question. Uh, in a Discord chat. So a point that I want to make is that when it comes to Bitcoin, the projections are strong for it to hit 10,000 and the projections are strong for it to hit even higher. So you got to look at this in relative terms, right? Like right now, oh man, it's 7,000. Like I'll just wait for it to correct. But next October, if it's 12,000, then we'll be begging for this October that we're in right now or this November that we're in right now where it's 7,000. You know, so it's it's all relative and, and those are really deeper questions that you need to ask yourself is... Um, where do I really want to position myself? And then also how you decide to work this market, okay? There's a lot of different ways to do this. Most people, how they think of investing is that buy low, sell high. So I need to wait for it to dip down. Then I buy all these positions because one position is 0.001 BTC. Count that as one position from now on. So most people come in and they're like, okay, I'm going to dump 10,000 in. Let me just wait for it to just correct. And then there's this looming big correction of 3,000, 1,800. Okay, well, if I buy in now, then I'll be screwed, right? Well, also you have to, so let's break this down, okay, logically. We have to look at the fact that we're in the beginning of the bell curve for Bitcoin, okay? So even if it corrects, then there's still room to profit. And the reason why and how you do that is because you would buy down the market. So... If I came in and I started tracking it like this, one position equals 0.001 Bitcoin. And then I came in with, let's just say one position or you could do 100, whatever you want. I come in with one position and then the whole thing tanks all the way down to 3,000. This is where you need to learn how to read charts because I set up and I manage out my big support and resistance lines all the way down, my support lines. Doot, doot, doot. These are points where the market was supported at a dollar amount, at a level on Bitcoin, okay? And then as I cross through each one of these lines, I then double up, quadruple up, 18th, 32nd, 64, 132, all the way down, I would buy up positions. So that's why you have to make sure that you have enough allocation to actually do this strategy. But this is like considered the no-lose strategy because then I'm lowering the threshold in which I make profit. So as I keep buying down the market, let's say I had to buy it down all the way down to 1800. Well, my profitability line is going to be very low at that point. I don't know what it would be off the top of my head, probably in the 22 to 25 range. Instead of I just come in at $10,000 at 7,000, then it needs to go over that point for me to make any profit, right? I just, I think this is a smarter strategy because Bitcoin, what it seems to be doing is it seems to be saying, oh, the standard way that you, you measure a market. Oh, okay. That's cute. I'm just going to go and be Bitcoin. Like it's so far just making up its own rules and deciding whatever it wants to that I think your average person who comes in and just buys in positions like that with this buy, uh, buy low, sell high will predominantly lose. Uh, yeah, so I think it's just smarter to allocate out and schedule on the down just as much as you're scheduling on the way up. So then you you hit this point where now you're in profit and you can start to pull out the foam. You can start to pull out the, you know, the icing on top. And then you keep the majority of your positions in and then let's say it does come down and correct all the way down to 3,000, but then it shoots up to 10,000 or whatever it ends up doing. Like you're, you're riding the market. You are in the market long term, buying and selling and buying and selling like over time. So that's a very different strategy than I think most people take and they, they understand. <clears throat> so to give you an example, I bought in 10,000 uh, $10,000 worth of positions into Bitcoin when it was like 3,800 or 4,000. So 
Yeah, I just grabbed out profit uh, last night. You don't necessarily need 20000 Do you need at least $20,000 to trade Bitcoin on an exchange? No. You need like $100 to, to get started. Negative space, Captain. I don't know what that means. No way, bro. Bitcoin is going mainstream. Yeah, it kind of is, ain't it? <clears throat> you have 100 bucks, you could still get into the market. A position is 0 0.001. What is that? Seven dollars. <clears throat> you don't need 20k. And, and again, so we're oh, dude, let's talk about this. I just dude you. I just duded you. Okay. So let me now announce the, the big news and the next series that we're going to do. The next series that we're going to do is a trading series. And it's actually going to be sponsored by Hass Online Trading Bot. Hass Online is considered to be the best trading bot that exists. Um, you're going to want to wait to, to buy it if you don't own it already because we've set up an exclusive deal, an exclusive discount, which works out to be about 20% off. And you're going to want to wait, but let me just show you, let me just tickle a little bit on this, tease you a little bit, is this bot will allow you to do arbitrage. So you can do arbitrage within the exchanges, within the pairings, which is a very easy way to make money. And it's very hard to do it by yourself. It's very hard to do it without a bot. So you can do arbitraging with it. You can do trading with it. Uh, it's got custom scripts you can make with it. I'm still, I have to go through the crash course today because we are starting this new series on Monday and it's Friday for me. So this weekend, it's going to be a busy weekend, but I'm crash coursing the entire thing. And then come Monday, we're going to start trading. So I think I'll start with probably 2000. Um, and I'll have an advanced license, but what we'll do is I suggest most people to come in on a beginner, which with the 20% off is pretty cheap. Wait for the link. It's all going to be outlined and talked about in a discord chat. So besides them kind of sponsoring and getting behind us for this, uh, trading series, it'll be seven to 10 day, uh, trading series, uh, altogether. Besides that, we're going to have one of their team members in a discord chat to support you guys to help you guys with your questions, to help direct you into the right, you know, where do I go to get my answers to my questions? And they're constantly doing more live streams, so they'll be able to come in and link you guys to the latest live streams that they're doing for training, and you'll be able to get involved in those live streams, have your questions answered, get a real look at this thing in depth before you decide to move on it. And the whole reason why I wanted to jump into this is because you know, we're not just talking about diversification. Stand back and watch what we're actually doing. When you watch what we're doing, we're doing just about the same thing that we're talking about. So we're talking about how we eventually want to be out of high interest yield programs, how it was just the start, how we just use that to snowball a huge amount of profit to be able to get into bigger avenues. Now we're starting to do that. This is the first step really out of those things. And while those will always have a position and a place in our portfolio, like we will be moving away from those. So while I understand that this is opening the doors to a lot different demographic coming into the community, I think the way we're going to do it is still going to beautifully blend us all together. So we are still going to have the very beginner who doesn't even know how to use Coinbase yet and all the introduction to Bitcoin stuff, they'll need that. And then we're going to have the guy who's ready to bring in $50,000 right now and trade it on the open markets. We're going to have that guy too. And so this trading series will be the first step for us to really together take that step. And I want to just say that I think trading has a lot more to do with beliefs and confidence than it does with real skill set. So my ability to learn these things, my ability to become proficient in trading matters on what I'm telling myself, my inner dialogue and my inner critiquing of the trade I just made the last week, the last seven days of my performance, it's a lot more um, valuable. And I think the biggest variable rather is oh, um, what we're telling ourselves and what we're feeling. Sorry, I, I'm brain farting a little bit. Too much coffee and, uh, and now I'm just kind of getting on it. So I think that confidence is one of the biggest factors to learning something quickly. Um, so yeah, I've crash coursed quite a bit of trying to do something really quickly. I've done it with really intense mechanical things like uh, how to drift race cars, how to learn different languages, how to learn mechanical and mental skills very, very quickly. And I will tell you right now that the biggest 
factor to getting started is the excitement that you hold about it. So you need to, you need to in some sort of way, fall in love, get excited, recognize that this is the next step and start to embrace it instead of resisting it. How we feel about the thing before we get started oftentimes dictates how that thing turns out, right? I, my inner dialogue before I speak in front of an audience is, you're shit, you're worthless, this is going to fail, you're going to completely screw up. Well, just sit on that for like six hours and I guarantee you, you'll probably bomb. But if we go the other way and I pump myself up, I remember all the times when I confidently spoke in front of an audience before. I remember that I know my subject matter very deeply. I recognize that somebody in the audience might really need my words tonight. I might be literally saving somebody's life with what I talk about to help them get back on track with their life. Like... And before you know it, you're ready and you got your game face on and then you go and you perform at a completely different level. You know, high octane sports and extreme sports are a great thing to look at when it comes to confidence and proficiency because those guys are literally in almost a life and death scenario every second of what they're doing. Racing cars, skydiving, wingsuiting, uh, skiing, snowboarding, you know, depending on the level that they're at, uh, surfing, a lot of that is almost life or death all the time. And yet they're able, to, they're able to channel flow. They're able to channel flow state and, and make that work. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to give you all the, tri- all the tricks and the hacks that I've got for how to initiate flow state is what it's called as quick as possible when we're trading. And the nootropics play a little bit into it, but a lot of it is just like a, a pre-shot routine and a pre-game routine, much like what your Michael Jordans and your Tiger Woods used to do, where they would visualize before doing. All that stuff is what we're going to be talking about in this trading series, because I want the guy who's a beginner to really just be able to come into this and very quickly be confident and let go of like, oh my God, it's trading. Oh my God. And those feelings and get into this groove of... Uh, of good results, proficiency, confidence, right? I totally went off on a, on a little, a little thing there. <clears throat> yeah, it is 90% psychological, Michael. That's a great point. And so that's where we're going next. And so I am so excited about what this relationship will do for us, what this opens up in terms of opportunity. But yes, you will get an exclusive discount as a crypto junkie community member works out to be about 20%. You can follow along, purchase a license, just watch it. It doesn't really matter. Um, We will have a dedicated support person in the Discord chat community. And so that's that's how we're going forward. That's going to be the next series. Yeah, phenylprasatam is really strong. PEA is another really good one. If you just like to kind of reset um, your dopamine and serotonin, PEA is a really good one. PEA is actually considered a love molecule. It's what's in chocolate that makes women feel so good. Fun fact. Fun, completely useless fact. <clears throat> Caffeine and L-thionine. L-thionine is great because it's it's already natural derived in green tea. That's why you don't get the jitters off of green tea. You get the jitters off of coffee because it doesn't have L-thionine in it. If you were to just supplement with a 200 milligram of L-thionine while you drink your coffee, you'd notice the jitters are much less. And that kind of anxiety, panicky feeling, you're just kind of chilled out. I take L-thionine every day. Um, Modafinil is great, but horrible long term. Watch yourself, Justin. You got to watch your liver and kidney on modafinil. And adrafinil is a replacement to that. Um, but it's still, you got to really watch your liver and kidney. So I'd suggest to do routine blood work. Here in Asia, blood work's cheap. It's like 50 bucks to get my basic blood panels done. And I do that. So that I keep an eye on my cholesterol levels and um, enzyme levels, liver uh, enzyme levels. <clears throat> and we're getting into like some doc speak, I guess, but. Yeah, modafinil is like, if you know nothing, um, you know, that's an easy one to break into. But again, you probably want to get some basic blood panels done to watch watch your cholesterol levels and your liver enzyme count. You want to get both of those done at some point if you're going to do modafinil on a regular basis, please, because uh, that's what it affects the most. I like the tangents too. That's why I do the live streams because for everything that I don't feel like coming up with this structured way to talk about it, and I just say F it, live streams that's the way to do it you snort aviation fuel that sounds that sounds toxic sounds very toxic actually (laughs) yep cool and most people have no idea about trade bots and don't let that scare you though like 
recognize that you are about to literally get as much assistance as you could possibly imagine to get started into this. I'm going to help you with the mental barriers and charting and all the basics of what you need to know to watch pairs, what's breaking out. Should I get into this one? Should I not? And together we are going to really, we're going to blow shit up for lack of better words. Okay, so what would you do if you're already a USI Tech sign up member uh, and you wanted to get involved in what we're doing? I have two suggestions. Don't change it. Just get involved in some of the marketing pieces that we're offering you if it seems like it's a big pain in the ass. Second option, if you haven't verified your account, you could technically email them, tell them to delete that whole thing out and you delete the account yourself and then you create a new one under us. I don't know if we're creating a ton of problems for USI Tech though by doing that. And so I'm hesitant to do that, but I know people who have so far. There's been about 10 or 12 that have so far. Cue the email I get from USI Tech asking to stop doing that in three, two, one. <laughs> Yeah, I got myself excited, man. Uh, that's funny. All right, so any questions for me? I think we'll wrap up the live stream. I've done all the giveaways. I've dropped the big news on you guys. Wait on the official announcement. We'll have, be having their team member from Hass Online join today. And he's the same guy who does all the live streams. I'll plug you to all the live streams so that you can do your research now. Get your... Um, you know, some of these are like two hour live streams. So you can go and get ahead of the curve. And then once we start shooting the series on Monday, you can decide what to do from there. But yeah, I would suggest everybody getting started to get the beginner bot and we will have an exclusive discount code for you. So just wait, I'm waiting to get it this morning. What if you know nothing about trading? Cool. That's the biggest challenge I have is that I hope that I can take somebody like you who has zero experience excuse me, and uh, and walk you through to proficiency and making money with this. That is the goal, yeah. I didn't actually get a chance to download the Forex software. I reached out to the so uh, to USI Tech support team to uh, get me a download. I don't know which Forex broker to use. Insightful stream, great. Glad you think so. Sponsor, when I go to the website, it isn't showing the sponsor's name. I ordered a BTC package today and it's nowhere to be found. Support isn't responding. I think, Rosie, that uh, maybe you're at the tail end of like this support or maybe just uh, try and refresh uh, Control F5 on Windows or I think it's Command Command and Enter or Command and, and uh, Refresh button on Mac and try that, see if that does it. <laughs> Jeremy, thanks, brother. Says, Jay, your live chats are amazing. I would not want you to edit or censor yourself in any way. Very entertaining and knowledgeable. Good, man. That's what I'm going for. That that ino infotainment is, is a thin line. There ain't enough of that. This, the trading bot itself, you'll have to set up on a VPS. We'll get you all the, the training for that. It's a virtual private server. That sounds technical and hard. It's not. And really, this one is the most user-friendly. There's a few different reasons why I went with them. And one of them was because this one is the most user-friendly. I reached out to the guys at GunBot and we were going to go with something like that. But dude, it's just, it's not user-friendly at all. At all. It's, yeah. And it's, um, it's quite buggy. Yes, Justin, that's a great point. Is Amazon registered some Amazon cryptocurrency web domains. They're... They're already in it, guys. Trust me. They're already in it. And if they don't launch it right before Cyber Week, which I would not be surprised if they out of nowhere are just like, oh, we accept cryptocurrency. Oh, it happens to be Cyber Week. Come spend another billion dollars with Amazon. Because I can tell you now, like, you know, that's where I shop for 90% of my um, tech stuff is because it's just um, uh, electronics, rather. It's so much cheaper than buying it out here in Asia. You get bent over buying it in Asia. Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised. There's a there's a one that works now. It's called Purse. It's just it's basically like a third party exchange that connects you with people who would go buy this stuff for you with their credit card, and you give them cryptocurrency, and it somehow allows you to track and communicate, make sure that the whole thing works correctly. That sounds a bit cumbersome. So, yeah, if Amazon would just be like, "Oh, sweet, here's a crypto for you," that would be epic, absolutely epic. And I think if they were to do it at any time, 
they'd be looking to do it right around Cyber Week, the biggest week on Amazon ever, like in a whole year. That would be the smart move. Whether or not they can get it together or they've been getting it together by then, that would really be the question. Yeah, VPN is virtual private network. That's that you can log in to uh, multiple accounts with different IP addresses. A VPS is a virtual private server. A little bit different. Everyone's getting into crypto. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Amazon Amazon bills be going up real quick if they start accepting crypto because I'd be going over there like in a heartbeat to buy a ton of shit I need. That's the next thing is uh, we need to buy a bunch more tech gear because I, I run a uh, media company and so we need a, like another twenty five thirty thousand 30000 worth of electronics. New cameras, we're going to get another full frame, all that fun stuff. So if they, did, if they started accepting Bitcoin or crypto, yeah, man, be in there like swimwear. Real quick. Yeah, so let me give you just some basics on overbought, oversold. Is uh, Overbought is just above 80. It starts to become overbought. The 30 to 70 range on RSI is really your safe zone. So we're just starting to touch into, here's 80 right here. We're just starting to touch into maybe um, overbought. And an oversold would be at the bottom. 20 to 30 is oversold. So when it tanks, like here we're a little oversold. Again here, I don't think it's really hit a point like that. And understand, like, look at this big run up as it was overbought for a while. You know, it stayed at the north end of that territory of overbought for a while. So that's a good indicator. You can get it can get kind of masturbatory with too many indicators, like all running at the same time, <clears throat> you know, moving averages. And then I got my RSI and then I got my uh, six other indicators in there. Yeah. It's like, cause then they start contradicting each other. So one or two sets of indicators I, I noticed most guys work off of support lines are basically a number, a dollar amount that the market has collectively keep saying that's okay. That's okay. We support this number. Resistance is like every time we go up to that, uh, no, not quite. Not yet. Not yet. So we're resisting breaking through that amount, that dollar amount. Makes sense? And we resisted the shit out of 6,000. <clears> so we really resisted that, but now it's like we're starting to gain some support right at 57. And uh, yeah, look at where we are right now. We're at 7,000, which, man... To just think about that for a second is mind blowing. Because think back to when it was like a hundred dollars, and all the naysayers and critics were like, "Yeah, but that'll never reach, you know, a thousand. And it's like seven thousand. Also, to imagine, I know somebody here in Asia um, that bought in to Bitcoin when it was like, I think it was like twenty. No, what was it? Because she she bought in at like a million each, so it was like seventy five to a hundred dollars. She bought ten Bitcoin, and she's just sitting on it. 10 Bitcoin, 70 grand right now. 70 grand to in Asian is a lot, depending on which country you live in. It's a lot, a lot. I mean, gross gross income, what is it? The gross median income, I think they call it, is 36,000 in America. So that's like two people's income. Yeah, I'll basically, through the trading series that we do next, be talking, charting, triangles, indicators, how to search out pairs, break things breaking out. I would love to get a red camera. Uh, we're not quite ready for that yet. We've been shooting on Sony's um, A7s, Mark II. And so next will be the F7S. It's just Sony needs to beef up their... Um, their longer range lenses. And so then after that, we'll do a red because the red setup I want is like 80 grand. And it's, we're not doing a production to do, to get an $80,000 camera right now. So I'm like, why bother? But a F7 or a FS7, yes, we're doing, because that's like their, their next step up. And for the, that's like 10 grand. And for the, for the quality of shot you get, like, yes, it's very worth it. Very, very worth it. Yeah, high for days. That's great. Uh, 
Litecoin, I think, is good for the future. I like Lite. I like ETH. I like Bitcoin. Like, if you want to hold something, all three of those are pretty, pretty good bet. No matter what shit talkers are talking. <laughs> 70 grand is a lot to you in Missouri, yeah. Need to learn how to find pairs for real. Okay. Okay. Have I traded on GDAX? No, I actually haven't. Oh, what is it? 10 o'clock. Okay, I got to go, guys. Uh, sorry, I just remembered this. I've got uh, one call. I broke. I set up two calls for today, and there's one that I got to absolutely jump on. So, yeah, Sony is cool. Red is balling. Absolutely. All right, any last-minute questions for me? If you want to continue this conversation, I'd love to do it. Jump over into the Discord chat if you haven't joined already. Over 500 strong now, and we're touching into 4,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, which is just like... I don't even know what to say to that some days. I got to like slap myself to uh, to wake up because the channel, we've only been going at this for like a couple months and we really seem to be hitting this like exponential growth curve going on here, which is amazing. And all that's due to you guys tuning in, watching, sharing, liking, commenting. That's how the YouTube algorithm works. The more we do that as a community, the more they say, oh, wow, people want to see this. Let's reward them more traffic, more placements, more whatever they do. All I know is it equates to us getting more exposure. And us getting more exposure to the community allows us to lock in special deals, special rates, and leverage that in ways that you couldn't do on your own, I couldn't do on my own, and gets the community building faster. So that's the next step. We're going to be really going into the trading movement here, and then we're going to do a 30-day series on uh, buying 200 packages into USI Tech. I'm not sure when. We'll get a date soon. But that's it. Cool, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you on a live stream. I won't do one tomorrow because I'll be gone. But uh, Sunday, Monday, we'll uh, we'll be doing another live stream. So we'll see you very, very soon on another one, giving away more Bitcoin, having some fun. See you guys.